to American Metro's Cash Register Training Series. In this video, we are going to cover some of the basic programming functions for a SAM ER-285. If you need assistance setting up or operating your cash register, please check out our other ER-285 videos. Setting the date and time. First, turn the key to the PGM or program position. Press 1300 or 1300 and then press subtotal. Enter the time in military standard time as based on a 24 hour day as a four digit number. For example, for 3.30 p.m. enter 1530 and then press the X time button. Enter the date as a six digit number. Enter two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and two digits for the year. Then press the X time button. Press cash to finalize the program. To change the tax rate, start by turning the key to the program position. Next, enter the percentage of the tax rate, including the decimal point, out to three places. For example, to set a tax rate of 6.75%, press 06 decimal 750. Next, assign the type of tax by pressing 001. Press the tax button on the keyboard. Next, press the cash button to finalize the programming. Return the key to the register position. Adding items. There are three sequences involved in adding new items. All three need to be performed for each new item. If you are editing existing items, you can just do the programming needed. Assigning an item status. This basically tells the register how to ring in an item. First, turn the key to the program position. Next, enter 100 or 100 and then press subtotal. Scan the item or press the button on the keyboard. Enter a status code from the following options. For a preset taxable item, enter 40. For a preset non-taxable item, enter 00. For an open taxable item, enter 50. Or for an open non-taxable item, press 10. We are going to program a preset taxable item, so we will enter 40. Once you enter the correct status, press the X time button. Scan the next item or press another item button. Now enter the status code and press X time. When all the items have been programmed, press the cash button to finalize this program sequence. Setting an item price. Turn the key to the P position. Enter 200 or 200 and then press subtotal. Scan the item or press the item button on the keyboard. Enter the price for the item but do not use a decimal point. Press the X time button. If you have more products to set the price for, scan them now or press another item button on the keyboard. Enter the price without the decimal point and press X time. When you're done setting the prices, press cash to finalize the program sequence. Adding an item description or naming the item. Start by turning the key to the program position. Enter 300 or 300 and then press subtotal. Scan the item or press the item button on the keyboard. Next, remove the rubber keyboard overlay and locate the alpha overlay. Using the letters on the alpha overlay, enter a description of up to 18 characters. Press the X time button. Repeat these steps for the next item. Scan the item. Enter the description. Press the X time button and then press cash when all items have been entered. To add or change the message found in the receipt header, first make sure the key is in the program position. Next enter 700 or 700 and then press subtotal. The ER-285 has six programmable lines for the header. 
enter a line number from 1 to 6, and then press the X time button. Use the alpha overlay to enter a description up to 32 characters. One thing to note when programming the header is that the text does not center automatically. If you want the text centered on the receipt, you will need to add the appropriate amount of spaces before typing your message. In our example, we are typing out American Metro, which uses 14 characters. We also want each letter double-sized, so pressing the double button before each character uses another 14 characters, bringing the total to 28 characters. Using 28 of the available 32 characters leaves us with 4 left over. Before we start typing, we add 2 spaces and save 2 for the end, and it comes out centered. Once your entire description has been entered, press the subtotal button. Press the cache button to finalize this programming sequence. This concludes the most common programming functions for an ER-285 cache register. If you need help with another aspect of programming, or if you have other questions regarding something in this video, we are always happy to help. You can reach us by phone at 888-645-4876, email at servicedepartment at americanmetro.com, or visit our website at www.americanmetro.com.